Today we are still in Montevideo um, at the airport, but we're not flying out. We're actually going to rent a car and drive up about, about three hours, three and a half hours up the coast to a little town called Jose Ignacio. This is where everybody goes. It's where everyone goes on holiday. There's vineyards, there's amazing restaurants. So anyways, yeah, super excited. Ready to get this day started. In our last episode, we had just arrived in Uruguay and spent a week exploring the greater Montevideo area. We stayed in this awesome hotel, we sampled Uruguay's finest steaks, and we drank some wine. In this episode, we're taking off in our rental car, driving through the party city of Punta del Este, and checking ourselves into the sleepy beach town of Jose Ignacio. Just one block off the beach, the Airbnb that we booked had a pool, a beautiful kitchen area, and a rooftop terrace with a view of the water for watching the sunsets and the whales. It definitely felt much more like an upscale boutique hotel than an Airbnb. It was such a perfect place to stay while getting to know Jose Ignacio. Our incredibly welcoming and informative host said that while we're here, we must take a short drive to the very small town of Garçon to take in the countryside and to eat at Francis Malman's restaurant. All right, we are in the tiniest little town called Garçon and uh, it's probably about 35 minutes from uh, Jose Ignacio. Sorry, I'm trying to remember all the little towns. <laughs> Anyways, you get here by a dirt road, and once you get here, you realize that it's really just a few uh, kind of buildings around this little main square, and the main attraction is the restaurant here, owned by Francis Malman, who's a legend, um, and currently, right now, there's a cooking school going on where he's teaching people to cook in the street on these uh, kind of open fire pits. open fire pits yeah that are built out of bamboo and what have you and anyways it's just the coolest thing we're so lucky to be able to kind of witness this today um and we're gonna have lunch here yeah so francis malman is a world-renowned albeit eccentric chef known for his cooking techniques over an open fire he calls patagonia home but has deep roots in uruguay as well his love for ember and flame are unparalleled Prepared over a wood fire, our lunch had a rich smokiness and tasted of herbs from the garden and local olive oil. The portions were grand and fit for someone doing the work of a gaucho. The rustic charm of this meal percolates until our cups are spilling over and it's time to get underway. Behind the restaurant is a little courtyard for enjoying drinks either before or after dinner or lunch. Francis even has a small hotel attached to the restaurant if you'd prefer the complete Malman experience. Today we are at the Garçon Bodega and I think it is one of the most magical places we have been in my opinion. The vineyards are absolutely incredible. The bodega sits up on a hill and we're here for a tasting lunch. But I think there's so much to explore here. Um, I think you can also just do tastings and whatnot and I don't know what we're gonna get into today. But I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Francis Malman also helped create the dining experience and is the culinary director at Bodega Garçon. The refined menu paired extremely well with the fantastic wines from this property. This winery was recently rated the New World Winery of the Year. Oh man, we just finished up with lunch and it was so good. I loved it. Best meal we've had in here, hands down. 
everything was like a flavor that I haven't had before. Right. You know. The celery salad. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> you know, good. just really, really interesting food. So it was it was so great and doesn't hurt that this is our scenery. Like this was our view <laughs> from lunch. It's like these beautiful rolling hills with vineyards. I mean, where are we right now? This is right. anyway, so all you have to do is get on a flight overnight, take a red eye down to Montevideo, then drive three hours east. You know, 45 minutes to an hour north of that. These winding roads, the sheep crossing the. List. I mean, you know, like, and then you're. Here, and then you're and here. Beautiful vineyard. Right. It's easy. You know, it's just and like have a, a nice lunch. Just like a little local place to grab lunch or something. <laughs> easy peasy. Easy peasy. It is awesome. If you do find yourself in the neighborhood, <laughs> absolutely come to Bodega Garcon. Loesia is on the 50 best restaurants list for Latin America and was ranked as the number one restaurant in Uruguay. Well, we're leaving today, Jose Ignacio, and I'm very sad about that. But before we go, we are going to have one last meal at Loesia. It's a completely different experience from dinner, but um, the ocean is right there. <laughs> And we're sitting in the sun, and it just, again, I keep saying this place is magical. It is. It is. Many of the locals have standing reservations here, because it can be next to impossible to get a table, especially during the busy summer months. Their food concept is straightforward. Exceedingly fresh fish from the ocean and local meats grilled over the Parisia. Simple and perfectly executed. This restaurant is definitely a winner. After lunch, we rounded everything out with a chocolate molten cake with a side of ice cream. It was the perfect ending to our stay in Jose Ignacio. We are beyond sad that our time here is over and that we have to say goodbye. This little town has left a deep impression on us and we cannot wait to return. Well, we just finished up with lunch. Are you hiding behind me? <laughs>